This is a call for an uprising. We welcome you to today's show. We ask those of you who have not subscribed to please subscribe to our YouTube channel as we continue to expose the satanic Illuminati agenda. Today's show, I want to talk about how the Illuminati are raising our children, your children, all of the children of the nation, and how they're raising them with a false doctrine and a false belief system, learning about a false history of the, of the world and everything that happened, learning about pseudoscience and fake things that discredit God and the Bible, learning about pointless information that you keep getting conditioned into your head year after year. Okay, because the Illuminati obviously control the curriculum and control the school systems. And that's how we've gotten to the point that we're at right now, where we have walking zombies around who can't think for themselves. But it all really starts at home, right? It starts with the parents, the mother and the father. So what they did was they created this false illusion that, you know, women were getting uh, treated differently, getting treated poorly because they weren't allowed to work. When in reality, it used to be that the man would work and the woman would raise the child during the day while the man was at work. And he would come home and spend time with the children. But what they did is they set up this false mentality that women had to be working to be considered as equals. Even though a woman's job at home is so crucial and so important in the raising of a child. So important. The child needs his mother's love. He needs his mother there. But what they did was they decided to create this women's right movement which wasn't about giving women equal rights. It was about convincing women that they needed to get into the workplace. It was about giving women this mindset of being prideful and wanting to get a job and chase a dream and chase a career. Doing the same thing with men as well, tricking men into, ooh, my career and my money, and this is all that matters. That's who I am. That's how I'm defined. And I got to work 70 hours a week. I'll sleep when I'm dead. That's what these people say. Right? Work hard. Keep working as hard as you possibly can. That's how you're defined here on earth. But they want that because they want the women at work and the men at work so that the child is raised by the school system because they control the school system. They control the false doctrines that are taught within the school system. And then these children look to their teachers for wisdom and guidance. Meanwhile, you don't know who these people are or what their background is. You see all these stories come out about teachers sleeping with students and all of these different things. But we automatically in our head perceive a teacher just like a doctor Right? We give them instant credibility as a good person, someone you can trust, because that's what they've conditioned us to believe. Even though on this channel, I've reported about you know, doctors that were falsely diagnosing patients with cancer, giving them chemotherapy and things like that, killing patients so we can collect insurance money. Okay, But people automatically trust in doctors. They automatically trust in teachers. And of course, there's some good teachers out there. I'm not, this isn't about the teachers. But these exact teachers have also been raised on this false curriculum, this false ideology about how the world works, the history of the world. And that's how we are where we are now. Because for the last hundred years, they've started this system. It's been regurgitated from one generation to the next, right? From one parent, you know, one mother and father to their children. And then when that child grows up, he regurgitates it to his children by putting them in the school system and believing in the same thing believing in the same false doctrines that are taught there. And then you get to where we are now. But what has happened over those generations? What is the one thing that they continually worked out of the picture? And that's God. That's even the mentioning of God in school. Why do you think they did that? They couldn't do it right away. They couldn't just jump in there and take it out, right? They started working it, working it, working it to the point where now nobody wants to hear anything about God. Nobody wants to hear anything about Jesus Christ. And while children should be raised on the scriptures, instead they're raised on, you know, and taught that their heroes are George Washington and these Freemason forefathers who created this country. Okay, these people who are doing human sacrifice, who believe that Lucifer, you know, is the true God, who worship him, right? That's what we've all been taught, that these people are. It's a complete mind flip, right? Because the people that I'm talking about exposing on this show are all of these people that we were taught, like Ben Franklin, we exposed him, talked about him with the bodies found under his house. And I don't want to hear anybody argue and say, no, no, it was somebody else that put them there. You know, these Freemasons are sick. These Satanists are sick, no matter what they'll try to tell you about how they believe in, in love and doing what they want and not hurting other people's feelings. Okay, these true Satanists 
are all about human sacrifice. They're all about the most perverse things you could possibly imagine. And these are the people who started this country. So you're, you're raised in a school system learning about a false history. You're not learning about what they were really doing. They're telling you kind of twisted tales about how they established this country. They don't mention about how they ran the Indians out of the country or things like that. You don't learn that in school. You get a rosy, nice picture of how great America is and everybody's so prideful. But what it does is it takes these kids, okay? And that's why the schooling is so long. I mean, people don't even question it. Nobody questions anything, which is the problem, which we've discussed. But the schooling is so long. You learn the same stuff, okay? I know people are prideful and like, oh, I've, I learned so I did such great things. I mean, most people learn stuff that matters in life through life experiences outside of school. You can't take too many people that can say what they learn other than reading and writing from grades, you know, one through 12, help them in their day-to-day -day life at their current jobs. You want to say mathematics and stuff? Okay. If you are doing something in math, even though we know you're using a calculator, but sure, you can pretend and say that it helped. But learning about clouds and learning about gravity. They created this false illusion of how the world works. They teach you all this pseudoscience, right? They teach you a false history behind our country and the world events that have occurred. They don't talk about the federal banking system. They don't talk about the Rockefellers and the Federal Reserve or the Rothschilds, I should say, and how they set up the Federal Reserve and how these people print money. Nobody knows about these people. You don't know how the world really runs and how the world really works and who's really in power. What you get is a rosy picture of a false reality, but it's conditioned into these children's heads. So they're conditioning them with false lies, false lies, false lies from the age of five to the time they're 20. And that's why the awakening process is so hard because you're conditioned for 15 to 20 years of your life to believe in this stuff. Everywhere you turn, you hear the false doctrine on the television, on your phone, other people regurgitating the same stuff. That's why it is so hard to wake people up from it because they've been conditioned so deeply. It's mind control. They've beaten it into people's heads to believe in this stuff. But they're raising your children because they've convinced mothers to get to, get to work. They don't want children homeschooled. They don't want children finding the Bible. I mean, is it really more important to learn about Benjamin Franklin or Jesus Christ and the scriptures? Uh, let me see. Let's weigh the two. Who, who cares about Benjamin Franklin? Who cares about these people? Because the history behind them are lies. You can see that they're all connected. They're all Masonic brothers. Winston Churchill, another one. Ooh, we're supposed to think he's a great hero. The guy was a devious, sick Freemason involved in human sacrifice and the occult. He was a druid. But by getting mothers into the workplace and tricking them to be prideful and want to do that, they, they slipped in and started raising the children. And when the children aren't in school, what are they doing? They're on their device, right? They're on their phone or they're watching television after school because they're tired from a long day. But they're being worked 24-7. So when they're done school, even though they're taught a bunch of things that don't matter and don't help you in the real world, and kids aren't paying attention the whole time, they're dozing off. But then they get home and they turn the TV on. They go into an alpha state thinking they're relaxing. But what they're doing is programming your brain while you're watching television. They're programming your brain while you're on your phone. They're conditioning you around the clock. That is why the awakening process is so difficult. And like I said, the missing thing in the school system is what? God. You can't even say his name. You can't say Jesus' name in school. They've made it like, oh, that's not fair to other people and their religions. Well, who cares about other people's religions? They're made up. They believe in false deities. Do we really care about other people's religions? We need to talk about Shiva in school. It's a demon, okay? <laughs> but they've convinced people that it's fair and it's right, you know, to honor these other religions. That's why they've set up these false religions. But I wanted to point this out to people because they don't realize that the second they send their, their child into the school system, and I know it's hard. People can't, you know, don't have the time maybe to raise their children. They maybe both have to work to make enough money, to, you know. They've created a world where they want both parents working, so they've made everything expensive. They made, you know, your salary and your taxes, your salary low and your taxes high, so that both the mother and the father have to work because they don't want you there raising your child, homeschooling it. They need them 
in the school system indoctrinated with the false belief system, indoctrinated with a false history of the world, indoctrinated with a false reality and how things work. That's what they've done. And now we have children who are, like I talked about in the Nickelodeon video, you know, kids who think that they're adults, which they're trying to condition them to act and think that they're adults because they're going to be overly opinionated and they are completely processed by the system. So they think they're adults, but they couldn't be more stupid, more worthless in the world because they don't have a single thought that isn't formulated by the Illuminati, put into their head on how they should think, how they should act, what their belief system should be, right? But people are too naive to believe in mind control and conditioning. But this is how we are where we are because the Illuminati control the school systems. They control all of the stuff that goes on inside of a school. The curriculum is from them. That's how this happens. You're born, okay? Your brain is like a blank slate. If you send that child into the school system, they're going to paint that blank slate the way they want it painted, which is without Jesus Christ's name, without God, and to believe in false ideologies, false doctrines, and to want the things of this earth, right? Because you're taught to want to make good money. You have to do that. You have to want materialistic things or something's wrong with you. You have to want to be on Facebook all the time so you could brag about little accomplishments in your day. They've created the ultimate generation of zombies, of people who are completely useless but are doing the works of the devil that are operating inside the Antichrist system. So again, this isn't a lesson on saying, hey, make sure you homeschool your kids. But I'm pointing out why we are where we are because people ask, they say, how did this happen? How did we get here? And why is it so hard to wake other people up? Because they're defensive of this system that they've been taught. They've been taught this fake reality just as much as we have, okay? We've separated ourselves now and questioned things and looked into things and realized it is a bunch of lies. And then you put it one in one with the scriptures and you realize, wow. I mean, when Jesus talks about how, the Satan, how Satan is a master of lies, I mean, everything's a lie. And he controls everything here and the people in control work for him. But people are so defensive of this system because they believe it's theirs. This is all they've been taught. And how dare you question what they've, what they've been conditioned to believe is truth. How dare you question it? And they call you crazy and you an idiot because they can't have free thought. They can't think freely without the Illuminati or whatever you want to call them, the elitists, controlling their thoughts. They make decisions for them. They're robots. That's why you hear people and they go, these conspiracy theorists, people are crazy. Their brains can't even process anything that isn't what they've been told. They can't process any of it. They put up a wall immediately and they're defensive of the system. They'll fight for this system and for this belief because to them it's theirs. You're questioning this person's dumb or not. You're questioning this person's entire life. You're saying has been lies and meaningless. People are too prideful to allow themselves to awaken or to learn this stuff. They're too arrogant. But really what they are is they're beyond zombies at this point. Beyond zombies. And it started with the indoctrination in the school systems. Because that's why people won't wake up. Because they don't want to hear that the world is a lie and what they've been told is a lie. Because they're proud of it. They're a part of it. They believe in it. Their pride is too strong to want to question it. And they actually don't have the mental capability of processing thoughts on their own. They're fed thoughts. They're fed how to feel. That's what the media does. That's what the news does. Right? It tells you how you should feel about this. Everything is molded and scripted perfectly by them to control everyone's reality. So again, the school system is where it starts. And that's how we are where we are today. Because they get the parents into work. They get the kid into school raised by their system and their beliefs, their lies. And it hides the truth from everyone. Nobody can process people doing human sacrifice. You say, why though? Think about it. The Bible talks constantly, constantly about people sacrificing children, animals. But people don't think it's going on because all they know is the fake reality that they've told them. All they know is, ooh, everything's rosy. I'm going to work. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, great. I'm sitting at a desk for eight hours, posting pictures on Facebook, making it seem like I live a wonderful life and I'm great. Meanwhile, they could never grasp the concept of what's really going on because their brains have been smushed and hammered down. And that is one thing they've never talked about, right? Because they never talked about the Bible. They never talked about witches or Satanists. 
It's like a myth that people think that these people don't exist, even though they're out there proudly wearing their shirts, doing their spells, but we have equal religious rights now, right? Quote, unquote, so that they're allowed to be untouchable and do what they want, even though there should be no such thing as religious rights. Everybody should be taught about Jesus Christ. Everybody should be taught the scriptures. Everybody should read the Bible at a young age and continue reading it throughout their life. Because it's the only truth. And thank you for listening to today's show. God bless you all. May peace be with you.